Welcome, affiliated listeners, to another episode of our Monday Minute. It is me, Kyle Kostaka, your host, and I like to move up the way I say that every single time. Keep you on your toes. Today, we're going to be talking about, I think, one of the most, this, this is honestly, it's not Ed's cranky corner, but this frustrates the heck out of me, and it's when people focus on tactics and not concepts. This is a very common thing, especially with new individuals, but hey, we see this with the most skilled marketers. There's always a new tactic, a shiny new toy of a tactic, whether it's use your buttons at this color, or I tried this new type of thing on Facebook and this one little word phrase, like a seven second tip, right? Or the seven second trick or morning ritual, these little tactics that everyone starts doing. And because somebody did it once and it had a lot of great effects, we all do it and killed any sort of effect that that tactic had. Why is that such a problem though? I mean, sometimes you still get a really nice boost versus concepts. Well, one of the things I think is a huge issue is if you're learning about a tactic, you're learning about it because it stopped being effective for somebody else already. They've seen that that tactic ran its course. It did really well for them. They didn't tell anybody about it when it was doing really well. And now it's something that either enough people have started doing it that it's already losing its effect its efficacy. It's not going to work very well. The other issue with tactics is sometimes tactics are very specific. So we might see a tactic, for example, something I've seen somewhere. It's a tactic that works very specific for supplements. Actually, I had a really good example of this with a client just uh, over uh, this past week. Supplements, one of the most common upsell tactics is more of the same. You take one you know, supplement and you just offer them more at a discounted price is your first upsell. Tends to work every single time on supplements, works really, really well. There's a concept behind that. But I had someone that was selling a shampoo product and they're being told to just do more of the same. When in turn, they actually have an entire kit that they're looking to sell. So because they've been working with people that knew the tactic of supplements, they tried to do more of the same. The problem is if you understand the concept of more of the same and what you're selling, it's actually the completely wrong tactic and it wasn't working very well for them. They weren't getting great takes. So instead I told them, well, that's because I really think you're doing this wrong for a shampoo product because the concept of more of the same is that I've already said yes to something. So I want more of it. Right. But in shampoo, if you're actually into that audience, most people, when you buy a hair care product, it comes in a system. So in reality, if I'm really bought into the shampoo, I'm really bought into the whole system. So you want to do is sell the system first and then more of the same from there. That's where you get your real committed buyers. I don't want to buy six bottles and then have to figure out to piecemeal my kit and system together. It doesn't make as much sense towards the consumer, although it would make a lot of sense if I was buying supplements. So that's where we could see these tactics sometimes really fail. Not only could you get one that's a misfit for your product, sometimes you spend a lot of money on a tactic that doesn't even work anymore. I see this in media buying all the time or something changes in the um, the traffic channel that doesn't work. So we all experience iOS 18. A lot of tactics completely broke and they stopped working. And all these media buyers had learned one tactic and not the concept or the marketing skills behind it. And now they didn't know what to do. They were just losing tons of money on their campaigns. Their tactics were all failing and they had no basis of marketing to fall back on to problem solve. That's why tactics over concepts could really hurt you. What do you do with all this? Well, I think one of the biggest things when you hear a tactic, lots of people take the tactic and they replicate before they understand. So they're like, sweet, I'm gonna go do that in my business and try it out. Never do that. If you see a tactic, understand conceptually why it worked or guess on it. Talk to the person that did it, learn more about it. See the human behavior, the buying behavior, the marketing behavior behind whatever that tactic is to understand what they're pulling on. What are the levers they're pulling? If we go back to that example of more of the same, we're pulling on the idea of, I just said yes to something. I really am invested in it. It's really, really great. Give me a reason to buy more. I'm capitalizing on the peak emotion at that point in time. So when I take that to shampoo, I realize that I'm actually doing the exact same thing. I'm so excited for the shampoo will go. I need the entire kit for the full best results, right? If I'm selling a supplement, the full best results is maintaining, keeping that supplement and making sure that I never am out of it, right? So why not buy a huge amount of it right now and give a discounted price for the truly committed people because I'm at that high inflection point. So you have to know what inflection point you're hitting and that's how you could adjust things in those tactics and understand them conceptually into your business. Plus when a tactic fails, 
the learnings won't fail. You'll be able to adjust and adapt to the next thing. So as you go about in your business and you hear new things or shiny toy or shiny objects to chase because somebody just got 100% um, improvement in their conversion rates with this tactic that they rolled out, always pause when you hear those things. It's exciting. It's fun. You want to go change your business to get 100% changes in conversions, but pause. Whenever you hear a tactic, stop, listen, understand the underlying concept first, then ask yourself, how can I apply that underlying concept if it even makes sense in my business once I understand? And make sure that you could put it in there appropriately. You don't want to go back to your team or your business and constantly be pivoting to the newest tactic and shiny object. Pause, make sure you understand the concept, make sure it fits in your business before you ever start executing. If you do that, now all these tactics and concepts will really let your business grow. You'll see massive changes without huge falls and huge problems or tactics failing that now are the cornerstones of your business and your business doesn't exist. That won't happen to the smart marketers that take a little bit more time and focus on concepts over tactics. Until next time, hope you guys are out there being safe and getting all the right concepts to grow your businesses. And I look forward to talking to you next week. Thanks so much. Bye.